Yo. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Let me toss it to Dan, a hockey dude. Dan's going to help us out with hockey. Uh, not help us out. Dan's going to tell us about hockey. The Rangers are currently losing to Carolina in the second period, yeah, one to nothing. One Take it away, Dan, a hockey dude. Go and ahead, bro. off the fight at the beginning of the game. So, yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> we're not going to really spend a whole lot of time on the first round. If you want to dive into that, we have a video that we did on Sunday. They yep, go back yeah. over the round one. But Florida beat Tampa 4-1. Boston beat Toronto 4 3. Rest in peace, Toronto. Beat? Okay. Yep. And they're already burying other people. The, the coach got <laughs> fired. I think the GM, Shanahan's probably going to go. <laughs> and probably Marner and Tavares <laughs> are going to be the two that either, because they they got one year left on their contracts, but I think they're going to try to move on from them to make some cap space. And then the Rangers, you know, they got a first round buy. I mean, they played the Capitals. Oh. And Carolina beat the uh, Islanders 4-1. And then on the West, Vegas uh, lost, you know, it was, I think it would karma, you know, with the LTIR bullshit that they, <laughs> that they lost game seven, 4-3 to Dallas. They move on. Colorado beat Winnipeg 4-1 to move on. Vancouver beat Nashville 4-2. And Edmonton beat the uh, Kings 4-1. So we're working our way around round two and right now like kev said uh the rangers and carolina are playing um the rangers are up 2-0 in this series um which could be the other way around with one goal <laughs> in either game basically but rangers are playing well and carolina's figuring out that their their power play is not to be messed with they got to stay out of the box because that the what was it? I think it was the first game that they passed the Kreider in front of the net, and he backhand passed to the far uh, faceoff dot, and Sabana Jeff just buried it. And I'm like, if this is the way they're going to play in the power play, you can't go to the penalty box. Yeah. But, Stay out of the box. But, you know, what was it? What did they play the last game? Two days ago? Yeah. Um, the, the double overtime. That That's yeah, tough. Tuesday. Because yeah. the longer you play – the emotions of winning winning and losing. The winning team feel, you know, they're tired, but they feel great. The losing team's tired, and they're pissed. They don't feel so great. And, you know, and the, you know, my buddy uh, Vivian, he was talking about, oh, man, Carolina's done. And I'm like, dude, it's two games to none. They're going back to Carolina. It's probably one of the loudest <laughs> buildings in the oh, league. He, he hasn't even texted me. Where you at, bro? How no, his, hey, hey, his phone uh, went nuclear the other night at work, so. He's gonna be out oh. without a phone for a few days. So that thing was so hot it would, it would burn you. But yeah, oh, so like you know, and I, I don't know, man. The way the Rangers are playing, they're playing great on the power play, they're playing good on you know the power play is keeping them all, you know, yeah. And but getting back getting back to the Rangers coaching staff, I, I, I really do truly believe it's a coaching issue because you know, Rempe. Is he learning from this guy how to hit people? Ah, 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 ah. I don't know if hey, you saw that. Yeah, I don't know he, if you saw yo, that he, I thought he had a neck, uh, a neck, uh, uh, yeah, what how do you call you it? Miss? Spinal. He, he about Mike Tyson said spinal. Yeah. Yeah. He, about, he about went through the crack of the glass into the first yeah. place. face planet. For real, for real. He face planted. So. But, like, if you watch that play, and and even um, Naked, or Nature said, like, you, he knew what kind of player he is. And, it, it, and if you see it from the backside where you're watching him go head first into the glass, mm -hmm. when he went past him, he threw the elbow out to try to catch him on the way by. And if he would have hit him in the head, yeah, he that was lights out. out. Yeah, he's not yeah, so out. I don't know if they'll, they'll you know, they're not going to do anything because it wasn't a penalty on the play. But, yeah, that series is going to get ugly. And like I said, that, that'll probably be it be a seven game series you know carolina probably bring you know win two at home and then it'll be the best of three and then you just you know all rangers got to do is win on home ice but you know they want to check off tonight instead of anderson carolina did in goal try to get changed the momentum so we'll see what happens i mean like i said it's early in the it's second so far yeah they're doing well and it's it's a plus man it's it's 
you know, low scoring games for the most part. Uh, the Rangers are on the power play. Power play, tripping. Right <laughs> That's what I said. You got to stay out of the box. <laughs> I'm the score. And he kind of he kind of sold, sold that one. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So, but you know, so we'll see what happens. You know, tonight. You know, if Carolina goes down three games to none, it's a wrap. It's, it's going to be very, very difficult. Wrap it up and put a bow on it. Great, yeah. But then, you know, we'll move over to the other series that's going on, Boston and Florida. Boston won game one, 5-1. Last night, Florida won 6-1. Yeah, I don't and, know what that was about. Well, here's the thing. Florida sat for a while because they beat Tampa in five games. Right. right. Boston Boston won the seven-game series. Yeah, they're tired, but they're so – they're feeding off that high of getting, you know, getting that W in game seven. And, you know, so they come in and Florida's a little bit rusty. And I, what I thought was interesting is Florida changed up their top two lines a little bit, moving players around in game one. And I think, uh, what was it? To Chuck, I think Reinhardt and was it Barkov? They're all like minus three or something in that game. And then they came in uh, last night and played. And the coach was like, you know, they even said they talked to him on the bench. Uh, whoever that had, I think it was Leah Hextall. And then she asked him about it. He goes, Well, oh my guys are minus, you know, two, three, four. Yeah, we got to do something. Mm-hmm. That ain't working. So they went back to their original lines that they had been using throughout the season. And it, yeah, they just punished Boston, you know, mm-hmm. you know, Boston fashion. They weren't going to put up with it. So they decided. You know, right. I don't. I don't want to play the third period, so I'm getting a misconduct, so I can go get get the hot water and early shower, and, and send the message. Yeah, and, yeah, which yeah. I thought was interesting. Like after one of the scrums, like Pasternak and Tchak were, I believe they're both, you know, assistant captains or captains, and they were talking with the referees, and basically they agreed to fight. <laughs> at that point, they were like, "All right, yeah, you want to go? We'll go." So they skated back to the benches. They both got on the benches. And you could see the coach, Montgomery, is talking to Pasta. And Pasta's like, yeah, we're going to go. And he's like, you sure you want to do this? And he's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> he's like, okay. <laughs> and as soon as, soon as they did a line change, when you could see it, both of them dropped their gloves as soon as they came out. It wasn't much of a fight. It was more, you know, don't hit me. It was almost like, a, you know, eh, you know, don't hit me. <laughs> and, you know, they both, they both fell down. And to Chuck threw a couple of shots while he was down, which pissed Pasta off. So he tried to get hit him when he was down. So there'll probably be more bad, bad blood come game three back in Boston. So we'll wait and see how that, that series works out. But I think both these Eastern Conference series, you know, yeah, it looks a little, you know, lopsided in the Rangers series. But all it takes is first one at home for Carolina, and they're right back in it. So I think both of these will probably go seven. And then on the Western side, we had Colorado and Dallas and game one. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Like I didn't get to, I didn't get to watch a whole lot of this. Uh, it was it, you know, working at adult daycare and <laughs> it was three, nothing in the first period. And I'm like, Oh shit. Cause I know game one of the Winnipeg series, Gorgiev had a, had a struggle and they were down big, but you know, in true, you know, Colorado fashion with the talent they have, you know, they just kept chucking away and, and they, you know, before I knew it, they, they end up winning the game, you know, late. So that series that will be interesting because Ottinger, their goalie for the um, Dallas Stars, he's phenomenal, and that he's going to have to hold them in the games because the talent, like the talent level on both these teams, this right. like we were we were talking on Sunday, Kevin, like you know this right. the way they, the way they have you know the inner division rankings and two wild cards so that you got to play the first two like if you look at the playoff format you know all the metro teams are playing each other until they get the to the eastern conference final right and the only way that you would play somebody different than you know the atlantic is if one of them was one of the wild card teams and they made it through so like the dallas colorado series would would probably be one of the better conference finals but that's not going to happen because they're in the same division. And the same with, like, you know, Carolina and, and the Rangers punt the Eastern Conference Final. You know, that would be a good series. Even the Boston-Florida right. would be a really good series. But you get all those out in the first and second round because the you way it's set the, up. The, the, the yeah. So, 
that series, I think, is, you know, Colorado snuck one out. I'm trying to think if they play tonight. Because I think there's a second game tonight. Man, Rangers just had a breakaway, man. And, geez. Oh, that's, that's, that's sad. Yeah, my phone didn't vibrate, and I didn't see any singing. So, yeah, the, Av- the Avs and Stars play at 930 tonight. Yeah, 930 yeah. game. So if Colorado can get out of there with two wins, woo, because they're not yeah. very good on the road. They're, they're, they're way better at home. We'll put right. it that way. But then the other series played, I believe it was last night, um, Edmonton and Vancouver. And I know for all those Canadian fans up there, you know, Leafs fans, this is your shot here. This is the last two Canadian teams left in the in the playoffs, and they have to play each other. I thought you so, had somebody going to win. Somebody <laughs> yeah. You know, so this is this is it. Whoever wins this series is can you know can Canada's hope to make the cup to win it. So that would be the Vancouver or Edmonton. And Edmonton played well last night, and Vancouver kind of hung around, hung around, mm-hmm. and I believe they 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 pulled. Uh, a Carolina and scored like two goals in like nine seconds to win that game. And the shot that Garland made, he faked a slap shot and he on the right side face off and he got a little bit lower and I don't know how he hit the far side of the net, but it was a really nice shot. Yeah, they scored. And Hyman scored another goal. Go figure. He's got nine. And he's only played – they've only played like six games. Oh, wow. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. You know, it's early in these series. You know, Vancouver, they were smart, you know, in the regular season. You know, they came in second in the West, and they won their, their division, so they got home ice in this. So, you know, they're going to try to go up two games to none, and, you know, before they go back to Edmonton. Right. But – you know the key key to this series for Vancouver stay out of the box just like Carolina because this is this is the uh, other deadly power play in the league with Drysaitel, McDavid, Hyman, Bouchard, and Nurse. Yeah, you, you, stay you, out the box. <laughs> you, you got you got to be smart, especially in this time of year. Uh, you know, uh, I think we talked about this the, the other day. You know, on Sunday about. Well, you know, teams have to be smarter and making sure they don't take dumb penalties. You know, during the regular season, you may be able to fight a little bit more, do whatever, and mix up a little bit more, but can't do it now because it will absolutely be lethal. And I think uh, it hurt you. It will hurt you. Yeah, Carolina yeah. found that out, and the um, Rangers are on the power play, power play once again. Okay. Yeah, it's, you know, one of those things where you got to play between the whistles. When the whistle blows, that's when you got to knock it off. Because the other night, uh, Trocek was uh, tormenting Getzel because he, he Trocek punched him straight in the face with his glove on. And as soon as Getzel turned around and hit him right back, but he was the second one. They always take the one that retaliates. Yeah. Mm. So, you know, that's where, you, you know, when the whistle blows, uh, you, you got to eat that punch, you know, and be like, you know, wait for him later. Trocek you know. with the game winner and double overtime the other night. Yes. So, Ooh. yeah, you just wait them out and, you know, like the Boston Florida game the other night, it's five, right. you know, five, one, seven minutes to go. All right. Well, as long as we get, you know, get it done before the, the five minute mark where the penalties you can get, right. you know, more, you know, possibility of getting suspended or whatever, because, you know, they changed that rule. So teams wouldn't muck it up at the end. So now it starts between the 10 minute mark and the five minute mark. And that game was you know far enough out of reach where it was four or five one that they they decided hey, all right we're gonna send a message you know we're Dan, not happy Dan any surprises for you or you think this is where pretty much things should be at in this in this point of the playoffs for the NHL well, re- really though like I don't think there was an underdog team that uh, uh, that got they like the only one that would have been like Vegas if they would have won game seven, but like we talked about on Sunday, the Vegas team that played in the regular season, isn't the same Vegas team that played in the playoffs. Playoffs, 100%. Yeah. They miraculously got, you know, <laughs> you know, Easter Sunday and Mark stone appears, Peter Angelo appears, you know, it was like the whole, like the LTR, you think like the salary cap was like 93 something, I think. 
and they were probably in the, in the hundred million range with the, right. that the the sour cap doesn't exist in the playoffs. But yeah, and, you know, and, and they they crucified Vegas online, memeing the shit out of them, you know, because of what they did. Well, the the defending um, champs no longer. I guess yep, we will have a new champion this year. Yep, the President Trophy winning team is still in the mix for now. Yes, so we, we are. Got two, we got two more rounds. Oh, wait, this round, what? Three rounds to go. We're about yeah, Rangers. So the Carolina thing it cracks me up. Like some of these teams have only played one, and they're on game three. Yeah, you know, say let's just say the Rangers sweep them, right? They're gonna have a long they're time to rest. They're yeah. gonna be they're gonna be sitting around doing nothing. Yep. for a yeah. long time. If the yep. other series goes seven, let me ask you this, Dan. Do you think in hockey, you think you know in other sports, you know we've seen it with baseball, uh, maybe football, where you know if is rest good for for you know teams during the playoffs or hockey is one of those rhythm things or is well, it in the middle it, you think it it depends on how much rest you know what i mean like if you get an extra day that really doesn't mess up your 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 rhythm, rhythm. and your pat, you know, the pattern you know you know practice day you know, they really don't practice a whole lot but they have like sk- you know skate days and uh, and whatnot but yeah if you're talking like Say they go down and, and win the, win this in four, and the other series goes seven, and they get like a five to seven day break. You know the other team wants to get at it. You know they're sitting around like let's go, let's go, and they really it, it, like it's not going to mess a whole lot up. You might come out and be a little bit rusty because the game can, you know speed is different than practice. Mm-hmm. You might you know you should have your legs, but the 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 positive to that is. Is you may have some guys who got some nagging injuries, you know, you know, foot foot problems, you know, you know, get hit with the pocket, you know, in your arm or whatever, you know, guys that are banged up it gives them an opportunity to get those extra days of rest to where you know they may be able to come back at you know ninety percent instead of being at seventy, you know, because you know as well as I do, if these guys can skate, they're going to play, right, right, oh, yeah. And, so they may like I don't know what was wrong with Matthews in the playoffs, but like he went as long as he could before they told him he couldn't play. Right. Like the doctor said, no, you can't go. So yeah, uh, but the, yeah, I think you know it, a couple days extra is not a big deal. But it, if you get into more of like four to seven then yeah, that's you, you're going to come in and the other team, you know, that case in point. Boston, Florida series. Boston played game seven. Two days later, they played game one. And they came out and and handled business against Florida. And Florida was a little bit off because they had that rest. But, right. you know, it, it, it's all, it all depends on the team and, and the culture and the chemistry. Yeah, and and, and te- teams are always going to want the rest because that means you handled your business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, you know, obviously, you know, when you, if, if, if you handle your business, that's, 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 that's less possible chance for injuries, uh, you know, with, with any sport, you know what I mean? So you always got to handle your business. And then, Hey, if the, if those other teams are battling out for seven games, so be it. So yeah, the hard, I you know, it's it. funny about that is that physical sports, it's harder to come back from rest. Like yeah. a football team, if your body's used to playing every week, right, and then you get a playoff game and you got to rest out and you get two weeks, it can mess you up, man. Because physically, yeah, you, you, it, it just throws your body off. Your body's used to getting hit every that's, X amount of days. That's why I think it's stupid that they have a two week break before the Super Bowl. Yeah, well, they do that, that for business. Yeah, but that that's as a player, I think that's dumb. Yeah, I line up, line just up like it would be any any other week, you know. Get get, you know, play on one Sunday, then yeah, have the Super Bowl. It used to be one week back with these kids. Yeah, yeah that's what so, I mean. I, I just think it's dumb two weeks. No, so, but you're not a kid this? anymore. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. None of us are. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm old. I told you. <laughs> Go ahead, Dan. Dan, what else you got for us for the uh, well, the, you know. I was going to say, we were talking on Sunday that, you know, 
coaches, you know, some of them disappearing or retiring or Rick bonus of Winnipeg retired. Um, Hextall from Seattle, he was uh, fired. Sheldon Keefe was fired, like we talked about earlier. And there'll probably be a few more. It, it, it really depends, you know, the direction these teams are going. Like Travis Green, I think, got hired. Was it, I want to say it was Ottawa, maybe? Uh, he, he was a former Jersey coach. And, yeah. Uh, Vancouver coach. And it'll be, it, it, you know, a lot of it will be, you know, the coaching carousel where, you know, some of these guys that get fired go just go to a different team. But, you know, hopefully there'll be some fresh faces. You know, there was talk of the Penguins getting rid of Sullivan. So, you know, as as the playoffs wrap up, then, then you'll see more of, you know, player movement. and Because right. yeah, really, you know, a lot of these teams want to get this stuff done and handled before the draft. Well before the right. draft. And when is when is the NHL draft? One one. Sorry. Go ahead and blow me up. Yep. Bam. Oh. Cried cried with a nice sing Dan. Nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> sing these. <laughs> no, and that was a shorthand goal. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, 